welcome. Excited for uh, all of us to be here, and I'm excited to welcome and introduce the University of Dubuque Concert and Chamber Choir from Dubuque, Iowa, all the way from Dubuque. In case you don't know where Dubuque is, is there any, no, I won't ask you, raise your hand. It is in Iowa, which Jean-Vierre knows where that is. She just graduated from the seminary there just last weekend. Uh, it's right on the Mississippi River, and it's famous uh, also for being near the Field of Dreams, where the famous line is, are we in heaven? No, we're in Iowa. Iowa. <laughs> right. Starring Kevin Costner. Um, I graduated from the Dubuque Theological Seminary, which is part of the University of Dubuque, and love my time there, and it's a special community, so I am thrilled that they are here. But before we start, a couple of gifts. Kristen Eby is the director, and I want you to know, can you come up here real quick? As the director with a choir from Iowa, you need to have sunscreen. They've been at Siesta Key this afternoon. When they start talking too much, which I'm sure never happens, um, when you're trying to drive, here's some salt water taffy. Yeah. Every tourist gift. <laughs> so share that. And when you get to be old like me, you have stickers from your collection that re help you remember where you've been. So there's a sticker from Siesta Key for each of you. Yeah. So 40 years from now, you can say we were at Siesta Key and Bee Ridge Presbyterian Church. <laughs> Here's a hat for you for your rest of your time in Florida. <laughs> and last but not least, there's a special gift for you. It's an ornament, a Christmas ornament that has sand from Siesta Key Beach. Oh, thank so, you so much. Yeah. So we welcome all of you. We're thrilled you're here. Uh, there's, we'll have the offering box in the back or by the doors. If you feel like making a love offering, then please do that on your way out. Um, and so we can pass that on to them. So with no further ado or presence or whatever, or sunscreen, the University of Dubuque Choir. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you to uh, Reverend Terry Joe for uh, inviting us here. And this has been um, already just a, a wonderful week for us. And we're delighted to be able to share this concert here at Bee Ridge Presbyterian. Um, that first piece that we opened with is actually by a, an Iowan composer, um, Eric Barnum, who is one of the great choral com composers right now. And so it's a joy to be able to bring a little bit of that um, down south to Florida for you all. The next piece that we're going to sing is called Musica. Uh, if you don't understand it, <laughs> it's because it's in Estonian. Um, but we have provided a, a translation in your program for you. And it's just about the beauty and hope uh, and mystery that music provides. This is Musica. This next piece uh, is simply called Alleluia, and there are no words in the program because that's all you will hear is Alleluia. This is sung by our chamber singers, which is a purely, <coughs> excuse me, a cappella choir. And this Alleluia by Brian Sharp has uh, all the expressions of that word. So joyous praise, quiet meditative praise. This is Alleluia. Hallelujah. 
this next piece uh, also has some special meaning to us because uh, you will probably recognize it, Be Still My Soul, beautiful old hymn many of us have sung many times. This version was arranged by one of our own choir members, Riley Sint, who's over there at the piano. He's going to play it um, since it is his composition. And uh, Riley wrote this um, as an expression of grief when he lost a classmate and a friend. And it's a beautiful way that he has turned his grief into a bu beautiful musical creation. This is Be Still My Soul. The next three pieces sung by the chamber singers 
are all sacred pieces. The first, the great uh, hymn, Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, uh, lovely arrangement by Hugo Disler is one of the staples of choral literature. And then we'll head back even further into the Christian past with a Renaissance, English Renaissance piece by Orlando Gibbons, um, O oh Lord, Increase My Faith. And then we will move to the early American, so jump forward a few hundred years, early American period of music, singing the song, How Bright is the Day, which is a rousing celebration of joy and hope about the future um, that we have as Christians in uh, eternal life. So starting first, praise to the Lord, the Almighty. Oh, 
day when the Christian receives a sweet message to come to rise to the mansions of glory and be there forever at home. And be there forever at home. And be there forever at home. To rise to the mansions of glory and be there forever at home. To the mansions of glory and be there forever at home. The angels stand ready and waiting the moment the Spirit is gone to carry it upward to heaven and welcome it safely at home. And welcome it safely at home. And welcome it safely at home.
You'll notice as we sing this next piece that um, you'll hear two different languages. So you'll hear a Swahili uh, dialect, and then you will also hear in English. Basically, the English that you will hear is a translation of the language you don't understand. So I think you'll catch on to what we're singing. But it's basically um, just a rousing song of praise uh, based on the all creatures of our God and King hymn. So this is O Sifuni Mungu. to rote yumbe vyote kwa yeyote sifu mungu what to rote yumbe vyote kwa yeyote sifu mungu
So we've entered the international part of our program. So having just sung a little Swahili, now we're going to sing a little Haitian folk tune. This is called Peze Cafe, and it is um, all about a mother giving her child a charge. Please take this coffee to market and sell it. And the child on the way to market spills the coffee. Oh no. Basically, this is a song of lament about spilled coffee. And the, uh, so it is a lament, but because it's Haitian, it's very upbeat. So it's kind of an upbeat lament of a song. And then um, we will follow that with a little trip to Scotland with the song Sheng O, which is a n bunch of nonsense syllables, a few Scottish words thrown in in no particular order. Um, but it, that's called mouth music, which is all about um, uh, expressing your voices in a way to make them sound like instruments. So you'll hear kind of a drone bagpipe sound, and you'll hear lilting violin sounds. So that will be Sheng O. But first, we'll start in Haiti with Peze Cafe.
concert choir comes back up, I'll just tell you a little bit more. Um, Reverend Terry Joe told a little bit about uh, University of Dubuque. It is, was founded as a Presbyterian seminary, developed into an undergrad, or an undergrad college as well. And of course, we have many majors. Um, of course, music, music majors, raise your hands. Yes, we've got some of those. Um, it's also a big program for aviation. So um, you have standing before you many singing pilots, aviators, raise your hands. And yay, pilots. <laughs> they, are the, they got us here to Florida, so we appreciate pilots. Um, and all sorts of other majors, accounting and business and education and nursing. And uh, the great thing about music, of course, is that it brings these students together from all their different fields of study and into one um, unified choir with a, one creative endeavor. And so it's just been such a joy to work with these amazing students and to be able to come um, on tour down here to Florida. We've been sort of based in Orlando and taking little, little day trips out and have been able to enjoy the parks. Um, you might be able to tell from some rosy faces up here. We spent a little time on Siesta Key Beach today. Uh, they're holding up, <laughs> but are a, a little, a little sun-worn, um, and such a joy for us to be here coming from a very cold, very cold spring in Iowa. So thank you for having such a lovely, lovely place for us to come to. Um, this next piece is our, the theme of our concert, Through Love to Light. It's a song of hope and joy, and we hope you enjoy Through Love to Light.
Students don't know I'm going to ask this, but we're going to sing this next one in the round. So go find a place <laughs> out there. We'll see how well they do. It's, uh, we got here a little later. We usually plan this out. So um, who knows? You might be next to five sopranos, but uh, we'll try to mix it up. All the way around, not down the center. No center. All the way around. Here we go. Now you can watch how the sausage is made. OK. Um, this next piece that we're going to sing is, yep, fill in all the spaces, people. Next piece we're going to sing is our closing benediction that we sing, have sung for decades at the University of Dubuque. It's a song of gratitude. It's a song of blessing. And we are indeed grateful very grateful to your church, to Reverend Terry Joe, for helping make this happen, for um, your beautiful hospitality. Um, thank you so much. Um, also, uh, as uh, Pastor Terry Joe mentioned, there, there is a donation um, offering. If you would like to offer something on your way out, I just want to let you know that the students do pay um, to come on tour, so that fund goes directly into the student fund to make um, experiences like this happen. So again, thank you, and we leave you with our blessing. Mm -hmm. 